Happy Tuesday. Not happy weekend. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Hello, online world. This is Off the Record with Migs. And Cheska, and I was a little worried that big lamaga happy weekend gonna know me. I I checked my calendar. It said T, not yet. Yeah. Okay, tea. okay, there you go. Okay, happy happy T, happy Tuesday, happy, happy Tuesday. Tuesday. Hello, guys. Migs Busos here with Cheska Letan Kalau, and of course, off the record is right here on ABS CBN Sports. It is another week to talk about sports, the game that we all, the games. That we love, and we're here, of course, to tell you the sports stories, to extract these stories, para po makapagbigay ng inspiration and anything, good vibes, positivity to all of our viewers. And please do follow at ABS Event Sports on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And for today, we're going to be to, we're going to be talking about, as I mentioned earlier, the beautiful game. We're going to talk about yes. football, Jessica. You know, football in the Philippines has been on a massive high for the past couple of months. Well, no, for the past six months, seven months, mm-hmm. eight months. What month is it? <laughs> but some months. So lost. But not, not 2022. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 2022 was a months. great year for Philippine football. And you know what? Uh, tonight's guests are also part of the beautiful game here in the Philippines because Migs, you know, like all other sports leagues, the Philippine Football League came to a grinding halt in 2020, but not before the United City Football Club claimed the trophy in that season. This league, uh, the league didn't return in 2021, but just last Sunday, the PFL kicked off its 2022-2023 season at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. So with us tonight, our uh, our members of UCFC looking to defend their title, please welcome striker Kenshiro Daniels and winger Kurt Dizon. Hello, hey guys. thank you for, for joining, joining us. us here. Thank you, thank you. Of course. You. Thank you for having us. All right. First, let's can we can we just talk about uh the 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 silence of the PFL since 2020. Uh what have you guys been up to since obviously the pandemic affected the league? the way it affected all other leagues. Um, what were you guys uh, I know that you also won the Copa Paulino Alcantara just a few months ago. Um, but before all that before football started up again for you guys. What were you doing in the uh, in those years, uh, Kenny? Um, as soon as the pandemic arrived in 2020, obviously we were in lockdown, right? So I was with my previous club, Kaya, and we would basically we would just have Zoom workouts. Uh, we would have Zoom workouts six days a week just to keep some kind of conditioning and cardio. And as soon as uh, as soon as the lockdowns eased up a little bit. We would just go running around the city in little groups. But other than that, yeah, just we would just do anything personal just to try and keep any type of conditioning and fitness that, that we could. How about you, Kurt? Um, it was tough. Um, I think in the beginning, it was just home workouts, uh, groceries, and war zone to be honest and i'm just like catching up with family and everything but that pretty pretty much summed it up it wasn't much to to do because obviously we had the that time as well where um couldn't go out like my building was pretty strict about people coming in and out so yeah we're just living in the gym doing groceries after and jumping on war zone talking to family pretty much it yeah. Uh, can I, can yeah, I just go ahead, say, Warzone created many beautiful friendships. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. It's a time to be alive. You're part of that, Jessica, right? Yeah. yeah. All the yeah. friends I made over game chat and Discord and all that. Hello. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my my takeaway my takeaway from that was groceries because I know. All you had, <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah right because you just had to be at home you just gotta stock up and you gotta go to the grocery here. Then five days later, you got to go to the grocery again. I think that's all of us, right? <laughs> I think that's all of us. So that's pretty understandable. Yeah. But now as a, of, uh, well, of course, the reason why we're here is uh, the PFL is back in 2022. Uh, Kenny, can it, can you talk to us? Uh, can you tell us about the preparations at least for UCFC? Uh, maybe how many months in, how many weeks in uh, you found out that another season is going to be back and how's the preparations uh, for your team this season? Uh, basically, from the start, we were under the assumption that there would be a cup and a league this year. So earlier this year, we had the 
Copa Paulinho Alcantara. Uh, we were fortunate enough to win that. And basically, we were just waiting for the confirmation of when the league would start. Uh, so after the Cup, we also had the AFC Champions League earlier this year. And once both the Cup and the Champions League finished for us, it was, I think, Kurt could tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it was about a month to six weeks before the league started for us. So we had a, a little couple week break after the Cup. And then we basically had a month of preparation for the league because behind the scenes, they basically let us know when the league would start. And so we, we had an idea and we, we knew how long we had to prepare for the league. And then when you when you talk about the PFL, obviously, um, you guys are also coming off your own high after winning the Copa. And then you're also defending your title in the PFL from 2020. So basically, you're the squad that has a huge target on your backs. <laughs> so... <laughs> When you when you come into this league with everyone obviously raring to go, with everyone determined to dethrone the champs, uh, what are the little extras that you can do on your own outside of training, outside of what your coach tells you, outside of what the PTs do, um, just as athletes, competitive athletes who want to stay at the top of their games? What are the little extras that you can throw into your routines, Kurt? I think you definitely need to do like something outside of training just to keep your body like in good shape and maintain your fitness and things like that. Cause so we train about an hour and a half a day. Then after that, you have the whole day to really like make sure you get the right recovery food. So it's not just working out food's important as well, making sure your body gets the right stuff going in. So then you can go at it again tomorrow and yeah, I mean, if we we get complacent, then obviously someone else is going to take our spot at the top. So it's important that we just stay focused and we keep working towards like our goal, and and that is to to retain the championship again. How about you, Kenny? Do you have something personal, maybe the, your own regimen? When you talk about the extras that you do, uh, yeah, of course. Um, as a striker, you come up against, you know normally the biggest players on the other team, the center backs. And I personally, over the last few years, made it made it a habit of mine to go to the gym five, six days a week if possible. I spend an hour, two hours in there as much as I possibly can because I was known as the, the skinny kid before. So I had to bulk up a little bit. And now, you know, it's become a part of my daily life. I love going to the gym now. I love, I love lifting weights. And, and, it, it, and it has helped me in my football a lot uh, you know it's changed the way i've played and i've become more confident holding off the big defenders and stuff like that so for me that that is that's the extra stuff i do i love going to the gym and making sure i keep myself in the best shape i possibly can and then uh can we uh, obviously in in two years a lot has changed when it comes to ucfc uh you lost uh ca- your team captain mike uh, Mike Ott is now with the Indonesian club, uh, Barito Putera, I think. I believe so. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but aside from aside from Mike Ott, who are the other notable players? Who are the other players that uh, have have left the team? And how have you guys adjusted uh, to their absence? Uh, Kurt? Kenny, yeah, right. I've left the team. Right. Sorry, it was a bit choppy just yeah. then. I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just uh, talk about your team this year, uh, this season. Yes. So, I mean, I was there last year when we had like a lot of players, like um, the Nazaris, and obviously we had Shockey and and everyone. So it was considered a, a stacked team. And this year, we've we've had some great additions, like the likes of a. Mr. JJ Robertson from South Africa, lovely guy, by the way. And then obviously Matt Silver, we had him for a bit in Champions League, who's played at Kaya and then he's played in Canada. Actually, I think he's played in a lot of places, to be honest. He's been, he was quality. Sadly, we had to see him go. Um, he had an opportunity elsewhere, so we wish him all the best. It's been nice as well to see a lot of uh, local talent come through, seeing some of the young boys that are 
I used to see when we used to have friendies against like the college teams and that. So seeing them grow into like men's football, that's nice to see. Um, I think we have a mixture of like experienced players and a lot of like up and coming young young local boys, which and then right now I think we have a good mix of the both and it's just about like motivating the young players and also learning a bit from them as well because you can always learn something new. Uh, jumping off from that, Kenny, how's the team chemistry when you have a mixture of talent uh, in your in your club? Oh, the team chemistry, I mean, for me, I think the team chemistry is great. Uh, we all get along. The team isn't too clicky because sometimes you can get into clubs or teams where everyone's in their own clique. You know, some people just hang out with their friends and it's just really separated and the chemistry is not great. But I think with our team, I think anyone can hang out at any time and we all get along, especially, you know, we spent so long in Thailand together. We were together every day for almost a month. No problems. Everyone can joke around. And, you know, our chemistry, I think, is, is in a good place. Uh, if I may, Cheska, do a follow-up. Mm -hmm. So does that explain, in a way, the demolition uh, in your first match? <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did the chemistry somehow appear and was evident, Kenny, in, in your first match? And how was that like? Yeah, um, obviously, if your chemistry is good, you're going to play well together. And we did the other day. You know, we've had we've had quite a long break since our last game. But we've gone through, like I said, the Copa and the Champions League all together. You know, not, not too many players have left since. Not too many players have joined. Mm -hmm. So we have that, that chemistry from the core group of players already. Mm -hmm. And you can feel it. You can feel it in the last game. You know, nothing much has changed. It's like business as usual for us. All right. You you already faced Maharlika in your opening match. And then uh, there are seven teams competing in this season. You have Kaya Ililo, the Ascals developmental team, Dynamic Herb Cebu, Stallion Laguna, Mendiola FC 1991. Um, when you when you're when you talk about the Ascals developmental team, obviously, there's a reason those kids are in that team. There's a reason they they they're being, you know, uh, trained to face Obviously, older, <laughs> uh, more veteran squads. Um, uh, Kenny, can you talk about your journey starting off as one of the young guys with the Ascals? And then when you look at those kids in the, de uh, in the developmental team now, what is the one thing that you can say about how maybe you used to play and then how you see these kids playing now? Yeah, uh, like you said, I, I joined you know, Philippine football and the national team at a really young age. Uh, when you're that young, you're just hungry. You're hungry to learn. You're hungry to play. You, you have energy just to go out there and, you know, just learn and take in as much as you possibly can. And I know that's how I felt, especially my first few uh, camps with the national team. And you can see that in every iteration of ADT so far. I think this might be their third year together, I want to say. And every year they basically have a different team because, you know, they're picking up new young players that are trying to uh, break into the national team. They've had plenty of players break into the national team already. And you can see it in every iteration of their team. The, the boys are just hungry. Uh, they go into these games with lots and lots of energy. They just, you know, they want to prove themselves. And it's it's only a good thing for the national team. This this Them having a developmental team is is really good for you know the first team and just to have these kids uh, progress in their careers okay so it's going to be a long season uh in the pfl this year and uh yeah we can't wait uh for teams like ucfc maybe they'll take it home again but uh we'll we won't know and it's going to be a long season kurt how are you preparing for that uh in this type of tournament format I've honestly, I think um, in my younger ages, I don't think I stretched enough and so I'm paying for it. <laughs> so I would say like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pick up yoga. I'm trying to start that. Um, soon I'm going to do that. Because uh, like you said, with the schedule and that and everything, and I wouldn't say uh, we have the biggest squad. So it's important that we all stay fit and like free from injuries. So again, I'm going to say it. Uh, Like, I'm stretching them. Yeah, going back to what I said, just not getting complacent. 
I mean, it's easy to like going into games and and obviously having the reputation that we've had winning the cup and representing the country in Champions League to get complacent. But it's important that we all just kind of like, if someone needs a wake up call, we give them a wake up call in our team. It's like, hey, we need work hard. Okay, we we can't just like slack off right now. So um, like um, again, like you said, we don't know what this season holds, but we're definitely just going to give it our all and hope we can bring the title back. And it's not just it's not just the training. It's not just um, you know trying to recover when you guys do have free time because even your matches, the venues, still will be changing all throughout the season. Uh, most, I believe most of the games will be played at Rizal Memorial, but you have your venues in Carmona, in Imos, in Binyan, Clark, uh, Iloilo, <laughs> Talisay. It's, it's all over. So when you, but I mean, let's be real. When you know that you're going to be traveling also for work, especially after being cooped up for the past two years, I mean, when you, like, does it, does it excite you more or th- is it more of, I'm going to be so exhausted or I don't know. How do you guys, how do you guys handle the, the travel? Uh, Kenny. Um, well, we're, I don't even think we're a hundred percent sure how we're going to be traveling to these areas. Yet. But I know one thing that we look forward to is the stadium in Clark, the stadium in Iloilo. They're played on natural grass, which we all look forward to. Okay. Uh, most of our games here are played on artificial turf, which is nowhere near as good for your body. And also, I don't know, the, uh, the game is just different on artificial than it is compared to real grass. So I know when it is in Iloilo and Clark, we do look forward to playing on the grass pitches. Uh, but when we do play the games in more uh, province areas, like we're going to play games in Cebu, the games in Iloilo, we do get lots of fans coming up to those games, and that really pushes us forward. Uh, we, you know, we don't get the most when we play in Metro Manila, but when we do go out to the different areas, we, you know, we'll get a couple thousand people there sometimes, and it really pushes us to play. And it, you know, that's what we get excited for. We like playing in front of the fans. Mm, interesting. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So now <laughs> we are going to move over to a segment we call Fast Break. All right, well, we are going to throw out a question and the first answer that pops into your mind, please feel free to say it, but please do not curse. Don't say anything stupid on air. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a straight up disclaimer. Maybe, maybe, maybe filter it a little bit in case you, you feel the urge to say something. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> it's not a war zone, Jessica. It's not a war zone. Exactly. No, <laughs> no war zone, war zone speaking. We're live on ABS Event Sports, guys. So. <laughs> All right. I just had to say it. Kenny, most impressive scorer on a rival team? Daizo. Kurt? Same question. Uh, Jovid Bedic. Okay. okay, Kurt, for you, toughest defensive player on a rival team? Ooh. Eric Galantes. Oh, Eric. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kenny. Good one. Kenny, for Simone you. Simone Rota. Oh. Hey, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Kurt, favorite cheat meal? Ooh. Chicken wing. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. With Buffalo beer. chicken wing. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I got to ask. Ranch or blue cheese? Blue cheese. Blue cheese. <gasps> Thank you. It has to be. Thank you. Has to be. All right. <laughs> blue cheese. Any. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head, though? No, oh, I, I, I hate I hate blue cheese. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I hate blue what? cheese. Kick, kick of the stream. Kick, kick of the stream. <laughs> All right, favorite kidding, cheat meal. Um, not really a cheat meal, but sushi. Okay. Oh. I mean, depending on how much you have, you have it, got that... rice. It's not. It's not I, the first yeah. time we got that answer. A lot Haley of... Long also answered that. Yeah. Cheat meal is like sushi. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she said sushi That's too. my friend. So, <laughs> great minds think alike. All right, uh, Kenny, best hype song. Best hype song. Oh, this is hard. I'm DJ. Um, no, oh, no. Well, I'm letting myself down here. Uh, just say all the way up. 
Oh, the first thing that popped in my head. First thing that popped That's in my head. a good one. That's a hype track. Okay, yeah. Kurt. Okay. Kenny knows what I'm gonna say. Kana Kana Boon, I think it's called. It's like that Naruto um, opening oh. song. Oh, Bluebird. No, the other one. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. not Bluebird. The other one. No, Bluebird. Yeah, the other Kana one. The other one. Yeah, the other one. Ooh, okay. Good All right, Kurt. Game day ritual. Game day ritual. I have to have a 20 minute nap with like um some sort of relaxing music with a scenery <laughs> background on YouTube. It's very weird, I know, but yeah. And very specific. 20 very minutes. Specific. <laughs> very 20 specific. minutes. Very specific routine. Do you have an alarm, okay. Kurt? Or do you like just wake up after 20 minutes? Oh, there's an alarm and I got my my girlfriend exposed me and um, put it on a story. So it's it's, it's out there now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So 20 well minutes <laughs> and, the, uh, and a specific track. Like a relaxing. Yeah, it's, I think I just type into YouTube slow, relaxing music with a view. <laughs> with a view. Mm. Okay. That's, that's, that's nice. Nice to know. Okay, Kenny. But I, I feel like that was the most specific uh, game day Answer. ritual yeah. Yeah, that we got. Right, that ever. we got. Yep. Yeah. All right, Kenny. Yeah. Uh, not on the actual game day, but the, the day before, the night before, I always eat pasta. Like uh, my dinner mm. before Carbo game. loading. 90, 90, 99% of the time will be pasta. Okay. Mm. That, that's about it. That's that's the only like thing that I'm. White or red? With. White or red sauce? Red sauce. Okay. Red sauce. Okay. Red mm-hmm. okay. Uh, my turn now. If you could have any superpower, Kurt, what would it be? To fly. Okay. okay. Can you go anywhere? Don't have to pay for. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say fly, but I'll, I'll, I'll mix it up a little bit. Instantly transport anywhere. Ooh. Like, nice. Like Dragon Ball uh, Z, like instant transmission. Uh, okay. Or like See, uh, you can you can fly five. there. I'll get there quicker. For it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's about the journey? Oh, oh, oh nice, nice, without, nice comeback. It's about the, the journey, right? right. Like uh, <laughs> if you guys watch Umbrella Academy, I don't know if you watch it on five. Netflix. Five. Yeah. I need to start it. Power. Yeah. Okay. It's a nice. It's a nice series. Mm. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Kenny, favorite international footballer of all time. Paul Scholes. Oh, okay. Kurt? Ryan Giggs. Okay, yeah. your choices are nice. Both okay. my new fans, okay. that's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Kenny, favorite local footballer naman of all time? Local footballer. Yes. Yes. Male, female, doesn't matter. Kurt Dizon. Oh, oh. it's bad now <laughs> just, if I say someone else, isn't it? Just, just kidding. Still young husband. <laughs> okay, Phil. Oh no, okay. don't take mine. <laughs> nah, that's mine. <laughs> I was gonna say still young husband as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love I love playing with Phil. Love hey. playing with Phil. Yeah. Nicest guy I ever meet as well. Yeah. All right, Kurt. Most memorable career highlight. Mm, scoring on my debut for the Scouts, I think that was mm, yeah. yeah surreal. Kenny, I think also my debut for the Scouts when we were playing against Malaysia and they had a um, a protest second in the second half of the game. I don't remember what minute, but the game had to stop. There was flares everywhere. All the fans basically turned around and were facing the other way and were like jumping and chanting and everything. Yeah, the game had to be stopped. But I I think I'd just come on the pitch and I was 19 and there's like 11,000 <laughs> fans all protesting in the game. I was like, this is kind of cool. There's flares everywhere. <laughs> like, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> that was cool. All right. Lastly, guys. Uh, well, Kenny, for you, ultimate career goal. Uh, just playing at the highest level I possibly can. Okay. Okay, Kurt? Kurt? Yeah, pretty much the same. At the highest level I can for as long as I can go, to be honest. Keep stretching. Okay. <laughs> yoga, yoga. 
I'm taking yeah. off. And your 20 minute naps with the uh, soothing yeah. sounds and views. And the groceries. <laughs> and the groceries. <laughs> and the groceries. <laughs> All right. So okay. well, we'll we'll include this. Uh, Kurt, your message to the community. Um, thank you guys for for the support in Philippine football and everything. And looking forward to seeing some of you lot at the game and hoping we can put on a good show for everyone. Okay. Right. Uh okay, Kurt. Ah, uh, Kurt, uh, sorry, uh Kenny. I know, basically, same. Thank you for all the support. You know, Kurt and I have been playing here for quite a while now. And, you know, we read all the messages. We we feel all the support. And, you know, we love it when we see all of you guys at the games and at the stadiums. And if you can't make it, you know, we see when you watch on streams, too, if, if you let us know. So just thank you for everything. And we do look forward to seeing you guys, as, again, you know, with fans in the stadium. Lastly, uh, Kenny, uh, I want to ask you this: uh, in your huddles, uh, in your team talks, or whatever it is, if you could share to us your goal, if you could share to us your goal for this season, what is it? Uh, me personally, or as a team? Uh, as a team, and you can share your personal goals as well. <clears throat> no, as a team, uh, you know, obviously we want to retain the title, and you know, defending champs from the last league, and then champs of the Copa yeah we know like you guys said earlier we have a target on our back so we just want to go out there every game and perform as best as we can so they can't take it away from us personally uh I want to be top goal scorer this year that's my goal okay. nice nice Kurt's right. like wait no that's gonna be me <laughs> no he's gonna, he's gonna give me all the assists <laughs> <laughs> about you Kurt maybe any personal goals for this season at least Personal goals, I think um, double digits, assists, and goals, whatever that may be. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. I think that will be my right. goal set for this season. Well, you're already one and one after your uh, match versus Maharlika. So, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll call you again in a couple of weeks and see how things are going. Who's, who's leading? <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ken Shiro, Daniels, and Kurt Dizon from UCFC. Thank you guys for joining us here, and good luck uh, with your season, and hopefully you guys uh, will stay healthy and safe. And, of course, wishing you well in your goals, with your team goals and your personal goals as well. Thank you guys for joining us here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thanks for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Get good rest, guys. Thank you. All right, so thank All you right, so much for joining go. us here. Football naman tayo ngayon. So football tayo yes. and uh, we'll mix it up. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to invite more guests uh, from volleyball, basketball, and syempre po, para po sa inyong guest requests, please do uh, like OTR Mix Cheska on Facebook and Instagram and uh, please do slide in uh, your guest requests doon sa aming uh, Facebook and Instagram page. And for your uh, daily sporting habits, follow ABS-CBN Sports on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, off the record, with Biggs and Cheska. Uh, is on ABS-CBN Sports YouTube Tuesdays and Fridays, 9 p.m. Manila time. So there you have it. This has been Off the Record with Migs. And Cheska. And we will see you guys in the next episode. episode. Bye. Happy Tuesday. Bye.